Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah of Nazareth, Yesiah the Messiah. If you want to know why I call God a higher, and the Bible called Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. It's always linked in the description box and box and pin comment section. Greetings to the 12th scattered tribe of Yah Shahel. Yah Shahel is the name given to Jacob hallelujah and I greet the 12 scatter tribe beautiful tribe in the diaspora scattered to the four corners of the earth and to the beautiful body of the Messiah the church I greet you all in the precious holy name of our soon coming King okay some of you can skip this bit and go to the main message a little bit of housekeeping remember brother and sister we go to school on this channel it's all Cody Cody so you know what time it is all right because the dirty devils the dirty Caesars where's my bell my bell is over there somewhere but doesn't matter all right um for this video rather um and also, brothers and sisters, uh, watch a video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. And remember the various backup channels that I have. I am not safe on here. All right. So it's up to you, brothers and sisters. I can only give you these channels. And you can only subscribe if you want. We are not forcing you at all. I've got the Rumble channel. Everything that you want is in the description box. Everything that I'm saying, go to the description box or the pinned comment section. My information is there. Everything that you want to know. All right. Um, I'm not really... Uh, there's some videos on the Rumble channel, but I'm not really using that at the moment. But subscribe just in case. Um, the website... Um, <clears throat> subscribe to the website newsletter if push come to shove I begin to use that newsletter and also I've got the patreon channel and uh, where I'm, I'm kind of uploading either one or two videos a week things that I cannot say on here properly I do go to the patreon channel at the moment and I upload a couple videos on there once or twice a week uh, just to clarify stuff so if you want to know you can apply apply you can subscribe to the patreon channel everything um, is in the description box and again thank you brothers and sisters for those of you who have been blessing me through paypal i really appreciate it it's my little bread and i appreciate it and i appreciate you thank you guys very very much even though i do come and i try to thank everybody with a little love heart and what of you but i want to do it publicly i really do all right because it's laid on my heart all right brothers and sisters okay so <clears throat> We do the something called the top 20 here, brothers and sisters, um, where we call out the top 20 brothers and sisters. Any brothers and sisters who first comment on underneath any video, I give you, I personally give you a little shout out. All right. It's my privilege to do that. All right. All right. So it's a video concerning famine. So these are the top 20 brothers and sisters in that video concerning famine. Shana Fisher. Meek Safar so I Stacy and Small Shanae thirteen twenty Angel K God's own Shepherd's News Hello him Omurawa Bolanje All right Kane Siwa L Mackenzie Emma Scarlet Blessed Ash About My Father's Business Christ. Anna, Krista Anta Allen. Okay. <clears throat> Annette Sharives. Worship the real father, yeah, daughter. Leanne King. Smooth flight. Paulette Allen. Soloretta Pearson Barnes. Okay. Detra Jones, the Holy Watchers Ministry. Diane Ogaro, Rebecca K. And Paul Bromwell. So top 20 beautiful, beautiful brothers and sisters who commented on a powerful video concerning famine stuff because we are near to that and it's coming. All right, brothers and sisters. So <clears throat> continue to like, subscribe comment do your thing you know what to do brothers and sisters with the videos all right okay we are near our prophetic theme banner is called we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful messiah but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty antichrist and the lawlessness of sin 
it's the new world that the devil is conjuring up and yes it will come he will he will get that chance to run this whole entire world in the way how he sees it to run which is absolutely darkness demonic horrific stuff that all a dirty helly would make and in that world there's no Yesiah you call him Jesus there's no Ahaya you call him God and there's no Holy Spirit all right yeah you, you that's that you're gonna have to show your allegiance to the most high if you don't go hide out in the city if you don't go hide out in the mountains in the cave if they catch you in the city your choice is gonna be the gillows are the mark of the beast. That is it. That That is your only choice. Not straddling the fence. Right now we can straddle the fence with the you know what. Um, but with, when that comes out, yeah. Horrible stuff. You need to make sure that your anchor is holding in Christ. All right, we have a prophetic theme song. It's a song that my good old mommy taught me when I was a little girl. She says, hide sweeties and toys and sing how near you are when we're getting near to the stuff. And the song goes like this because it's a fitting song for these end times. And the song goes like this. How near you are, how near you are, how near you are, how near, how near you are. Oh, now you are, oh, now. hallelujah. Yes, we are near. We can sing that song with, right, confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, um, I want to do this video about South Africa. All right, because I did promise that I was going to do it at some point, revealing who South Africa is. And, you know, it's not going to be any strange to... It's not going to be a word that is very strange uh, to a lot of people because those of us who are fully, fully, fully awake and understand the times and the season is, uh, I think that the Most High has maybe already um, show some people who South Africa is. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple of visions that I had concerning South Africa, the second X, the second Odus, all right? <laughs> A lot of mercy. Look at that. You know, listen, I have to do these things because the devil is a liar. When you speak the truth, especially about the second, you know, this business, orders, um, the algorithm goes mad because you're speaking the truth and they know that this thing is coming up. So they, they um, the subdue the videos. So I'll try not to call the word as much as I can. Um, let's, I can't be bothered to do that all the time. Let's call it, and I'll call it the second trip to yonder. All right, so the second exodus, I'm going to refer to it as a second trip to yonder. All right, okay. Um, so, I had a couple of visions concerning South Africa and the second trip to yonder. The visions are true. Um, in one of the visions, the latest vision that I had, the angel of the most die bought the children of Yashahel. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, the children of Yashahel that scattered all over the world, the diaspora, everywhere you can find them. The angels of the Most High brought us into South Africa. Before we go over to the truck, the second trip to yonder, before we go to the, we call it the wilderness. All right. Um, and while we were there, and while we were going there, the angels said, we are going to stop over. In South Africa now that vision parallels I want you to listen to me very carefully because the visions are true that vision that I had where the angel said you're in South Africa with all the Yashahelites up there in the mountains because that's where we were very mountainous place where we could overlook the sea that's where we were we could see the sea in South Africa but then I had another vision before that way 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 before that I think I had this vision about two years ago where the most die I was in South Africa, me and the angels, and we were waiting for the go-ahead from the father, from Hahaya. And he said, go and knock on all my children's door. This is in South Africa. And tell them to get ready. They've got to go. This is the second exodus. So can you, do you understand what I'm saying? You can see that the visions are parallel. It's not like this difference, not like, okay, Lord, give me a vision, you know, we're in Zimbabwe. No, it's still South Africa. So there's something that's going on with South Africa. 
<clears throat> so, so the holding place where we've got to wait for um, uh, transport, <laughs> transport, so to speak, we've got to go to South Africa first, stop at South Africa, and then we're going to pass through Antarctica to get to this wilderness place where the most I have. Because that's what I saw in the same vision where the angel told me that we are in South Africa on the mountain stuff, right? Okay. Then I had another vision. Well, it's actually, it's not another vision. Well, it's the vision where the most I told the angel and myself to go and knock on the doors. We're in South Africa and he gave me the name of a place. He gave me the name of a place to tell the people to pop their bags and go quickly. Run very, very quickly. In that same vision, while we were waiting for the go-ahead from the Most High, there were soldiers invading South Africa. And it is going to happen. South Africa will be invaded. Not because of their goals or their rich resources. No, 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 no. Nothing to do with that. What you've got to understand, brothers and sisters, is that The military, um, the military personnel, these are the soldiers and the this and the that and the Navy, whosoever, right? If you're a South African, all right? You've got to understand that at the time of the Exodus, that some of these people who are in the army in South Africa, I'm talking about the South African army now. You've got to understand that some of these people, these men and women who are in the army of South Africa will be going to the wilderness. Because they are Hebrew Yashahelites. So the most die anywhere you are, anywhere you are. So in the hospital, it's going to be depleted of some doctors, some nurses, whatever work that they do. Same thing with the piloting, same thing. Everything is going to be a little bit depleted so we can understand and we can see why they're making robots catch that in your spirit all right catch that in your spirit all right so the south african army is going to be depleted this is what the lord is showing me in the spirit all right so <clears throat> the south african army will be depleted and that's why the most i gave me the vision that the un and whosoever invaded south africa now remember i said they're not going to invade because of the gold and the this and the that and the rich no it's not that the reason why they're invading and the reason why that they're coming is because number one the army in south africa is going to be so depleted that when yashahelites when the hebrew yashahelites are up there in the mountains a maid day is going to be put out to the world, to the dirty hounds of this world. Oh, there are people in the mountains illegally. That's what they're going to say. They have a plan. There's people up there in our mountains illegally. I don't know how they came in, they smuggled in or something like that. But they're up there in our mountains, you know, it's illegal, immigrants, they shouldn't be here. Um, and so, and, and, and there's something going on with the army. Uh, for some reason, the army is joining them. They don't even know that these are Hebrew Yashahelites going to the wilderness. They've got to leave the army. They've got to leave the South African army and the police force and all these, um, you know, um, what do you call it? security security business because now south africa is getting depleted of their security personnel so now that the wicked puts out me they are people up in the mountains we don't know where they came from or they came in illegally <laughs> I, will, I hope you're, you're understanding me and you're following me because this is prophecy that i'm telling you And so now the call on the wicked to come into South Africa to come and help. This is an invasion. So you look 
and you see the UN army coming in into South Africa. Why are they coming in? Because Yeshahel is all over the place in the mountains. Bible says in Revelation 12, if you understand who the woman is in Revelation 12, you understand prophecy. You've got to grasp who the woman is. The Bible says that the woman flees into the wilderness. But when she's fleeing into the wilderness, the dragon spit water after the woman. Because I often wonder, I often wonder and I said, Father, how is it going to work with this dragon spitting water after Yeshahel when we're fleeing into the wilderness? Because surely Yeshahel scattered to the four corners of the earth. It's going to be very difficult for the wicked to try to stop the second exodus, but they know. They know that there's going to be a short window of holding place and the Lord is going to let us hold just, just for a short period of time in South Africa up there in the mountainous places. That's why you need the sleeping bags. Tell her you need the sleeping bags. That your sleeping bags, just think you're going camping. Just think about that. Once you understand that, you'll you'll get your stuff for camping. Just think it's a it's camp. It's not it's not really camping, but well, it's camping. But you're not gonna stay up there in South Africa for long because you're gonna go cross over when the um, transport come for us to get to the wilderness. <clears throat> so 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 no, this is the reason why the the dirty hounds are gonna send the UN's soldiers into South Africa. To come and get us to go back to Babylon. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> no chance. No chance. It's the same thing like Moses, brothers and sisters. Listen to me. There's nothing new underneath the sun. I don't do anything new. Something like Moses. You know, okay, Pharaoh said you can take them and go. And two minutes later, Pharaoh and his army is behind them. Trying to get them back to go to Egypt. And this is going to be the same thing. We're going to try to get all these soldiers and probably nukes and all sorts of wickedness coming for us. Because now all of Yeshahel lights are in one place. One place. Not two. Not, not in America. Not in Caribbean. No. The angels bring every single one of the Yeshahel lights and the church. Let me, do, let me not forget the church. When I talk about the church, I'm talking about those who really, 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 really love Yesiah with their heart. They're not Israel. They're not Hebrew Yeshahelites. They're Gentiles, but they're the true church. So they will, they will be coming with us into the wilderness. They will be coming. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. So, so now you have the wicked trying to um, get us to come out of the mountains because we enter illegally. That's why South Africa is going to be invaded. And like I said, it's not because of the minerals and golds or whatever materials that they have down there. It's not for that. It is because of Yashahelites are in one place. The nation, hallelujah, the remnant of Jacob. Hallelujah, the 12th seed that is scattered, finally, finally in one place in South Africa up there, like I said, in the mountains. Now the enemy don't like it, so the devil is going to spit water as a flood. But the Bible says that the earth helped the woman. And I, I don't know, way before my understanding... Because I've been getting a lot of dreams since 2015, 2016 about the second exodus. But I was a young prophetess. I didn't understand. Very, very young. In the, in the ministry. Like six months into the ministry. The Lord had been giving me all this vision. And one of the visions that the Most High gave me. Was. I saw people gathered on a mountain. This was in 2016. I, did a, I don't think I did a video. I think I did a Facebook write-up because then, back then I used to use Facebook a lot before I came on you, you, <clears throat> dirty E but you. And in the vision, I, I was on a mountain, mountainous place with lots of people, children, elderly, all sorts, loads of people on this mountain. But when we look in the distance, there were arrows coming at us, like bone and arrows. Well, it's not bone and arrows, but it shows as if it's bone and arrow. 
And we got scared because we're thinking, okay, these bone and arrows is going to hit us any minute now, you know, because we were told to go on the mountain. The angels again. The angels, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, they're going to do a beautiful work in these end times, right? <clears throat> um, that's what the Bible says, you must not um, turn away. Don't be rude to angels. Don't be rude to strangers because you may enter entertain angels unaware so you got to you know have that in the back of your mind when stranger come up to you all right <clears throat> so so in the vision the arrows were coming we were on the mountain safe and you know laughing but then we look and the arrows are coming and you know what happened the most uh it was almost like a see-through i don't know what to call it but i'm going to try to describe it um it was almost it was a see-through transparent shield thank you lord thank you shield a massive shield all around us and now the arrows were getting nearer because they were they were shooting the arrows but they wasn't near enough so the dirty demonic people were coming for us and as they got nearer and nearer and nearer because the shield of the most high was uh he put a shield over the the mountain all around the mountain there was a shield so when the arrows were coming, it was bouncing off. But we couldn't see the shield. We couldn't see the sh I could see, but people couldn't see it. And they were so amazed. Everybody was amazed that like, oh, what the arrows are bouncing, they're bouncing off, but they couldn't see the shield. But that was the protection. So it just made me wonder when the Bible says that, that, that the hearth helped the woman. When the dragon spit water, the dragon is the antichrist, all right? When he spit water after the woman, the Bible says that the earth, the earth helped the woman. The earth helped the woman. So something um, mysterious is going to happen when we're on that mountain, when we're waiting to go to the wilderness. Something mysterious are gonna, is going to happen to us up there. There's going to be some form of shield. The earth is going to do something to help us. The, because... The dragon spitting water like a flood. I don't. I, I don't think it's a natural flood, flood, flood. Like water, water, water. I think this is war. I think this is guns and and new kids and 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 we call it convoy and trucks and all those wicked thing that you go to war with. Cause they're coming to war with us. But the Bible says that the earth helped the woman. <clears throat> but this is the part I want to get to. Cause, because you might say, Sister Karen, why South Africa? Mm, good question, isn't it? You could say you, you could hide us in Zimbabwe, you could hide us in Nigeria, could hide us in Congo, but no, South Africa. Why? I know that a lot of people right now in 2022 says that the um the so-called state down there, that's the true biblical land biblical land of yashahel you call it israel why do you say that just because benny hain and td jakes and all these mega preachers go down there and go to some wall and climb up some rocky rocky place and tell you that this is a jordan river and here and there how do you know because you have to understand that they've already divided the land and call here, there, and that, 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 and all sorts. But brothers and sisters, I want you to tell you something. Let me read this first. This is, <clears throat> this is, this is Revelation 11. Revelation 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Which spiritually is called Sodom. And Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So, their dead bodies, this is talking about the two witnesses. This is talk, Revelation 11 talks about the two witnesses. So, we know at some point the two witnesses will be killed by the dirty Antichrist. We know that. It's there in the word. So the Bible says that their dead bodies shall lie in the street for a certain amount of time. All right. Um, which is called the great city. 
which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also Yesiah was crucified. So, the witness, the two witnesses will be in Jerusalem, Yashahel, you call it Israel, for three and a half years. Now, anywhere, so this is going to put all, hold on one second. Um, so, sorry, my, my little son came in and asked my question. I lost my, 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 thread, my, my trail of thoughts. Okay. Um, okay, where was I? So, anywhere where the two witnesses is going to do their ministry, that is the true Israel. Bible cannot lie. Bible says that where also our Lord was crucified. And we know that Yesiah was crucified in, where was he? In Yeshahel, Jerusalem. Down in that vicinity. In, 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 the, vicinity, in the vicinity of Yeshahel. So, the two witnesses, if you really believe that the two witnesses are going to go down in the fake state down there and do the ministry because you think that's the real Yashahel, it's not going to be so. According to what I believe, according to what the Lord is showing me in my spirit, South Africa South Africa is the real Israel, is the real Yashahel. This is where the two witnesses are going to do their ministry, right in South Africa. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. It makes sense. Makes sense. Why? Why does it make sense? Because at the point where the 12 tribe are up there in the mountain, at the point where Yashahel, the Yashahelites, are up there in the South African mountain, they call it South Africa, but it's, it's, it's Yashahel really, but for, you know, just we call it South Africa for now. So, Yashahelites and the church, people who love the most die, are up there in the in the mountains in South Africa. And at that point, the two witnesses is going to come on the scene. They have to come. Because a lot of us, a lot of us will not be on E but you. A lot of us will not be in the churches. So our ministry is ended. So now you have to have people that's more powerful than us to reach the lost. This isn't the rapture yet. We're not here, but the rapture hasn't come yet. The rapture has not come yet. So at the point where we're up there, ready to go to the wilderness, the two witnesses comes on the scene in South Africa. You have to take what I say to the Lord in prayer because it's deep. It's deep because when you're rooted and grounded in a doctrine and you believe that what the dirty Caesars have been telling you for years and years and years and the dirty demonic pastor backs the Caesar. It's very hard for someone to come and say, look, this isn't true. This isn't so. This is the truth. But when the two witness comes on the scene, for those of you who have not made it into the wilderness, you will remember this video. And you're going to say, yes, Sister Karen was right. The two witnesses will not be going to the fake state. They ain't going down there. They're going right in South Africa because that is the true Israel. That is Yashahel. Jerusalem, Zion, all of that. Calvary. But the change of everything.
They change up everything to fool the people. And that's why sometimes prophecy is very hard to decipher. Because when you believe one thing, then, you know, um, it's very hard to bring your mind and your heart and your body over to believe in the truth. I was going to do a video a couple of years ago, about two years ago. Two years ago, I was going to do a video. Because the Lord began to speak to me after he gave me that vision concerning um, Africa. And I asked him, he said, do you know where you're standing? Very powerful vision where I saw Abraham, Isaac and Jacob sitting on the edge of Africa. And the Spirit of the Lord took me in the middle of Africa, in the middle. And I look and he said to me, do you know where you are? And I said, this is the Middle East. And he said, no. He said, there's no such thing as the Middle East. This is all Africa. All of it. All of it. Every single bit of it. There's no Middle East. This is what the dirty devils have conjured up. They conjured up to tell you that, oh, Jesus is from the Middle East and he's a light skin. Because they want to fit the narrative. They want him to look European. So when you look down in the Middle East in 2022, right now, the whole light. Next to white. No white people, really. And truly. So they can conjure up and say, oh, Jesus Christ is from the Middle East. And yeah, he is white, really. And it's, it's not true. These people are put there. Same as a fake state. The Ukrainians, they were put down there. South Africa, you've got to understand the... Um, so Africa is quite deep because it's a, it's a, it's a hidden secret. Hidden, it's a hidden secret. Because you got other nations down there. Not only the, it's not only the the black people are down there in South Africa. You got white people. You got Ch Chinese now, and Indian and all. Everybody is there. But. A couple of years ago, I was going to do a revelation because Ghana came in my spirit. Because of course, I begin to speak to the Lord and I said, right. I said, so that fake state is not the true Israel. It's, it's not. So I begin to wonder in my spirit. I said, okay, Father, so where is this? And I got the inclination is between Ghana and South Africa is a true Israel. And I was going to do a video. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I waited. Hallelujah. Because now I would have to come back and backtrack. I would have to come back and apologize and what have you. And I was going to do a video telling brothers and sisters that the true Israel, Yeshahel, true Jerusalem and all of that, Zion, is in Ghana. And the Lord told me to hold my peace. This was way before I started to get visions. I didn't have any visions about South Africa at the time. I didn't, didn't get any visions about them. But when the visions begin to come in about South Africa, and I begin to say, okay... Lord began to show me, especially that we're going in the mountains of South Africa and the two witnesses, South Africa, they're going to they're gonna do their ministry down there. I said, ah, makes sense. You'll never know where the true, true, well, Everything down in South Africa is so mixed up, mixed up, unless you get a proper true map. Shaka Zulu. Powerful um, warrior. What the Lord told me, and I did a video concerning this, because everything that I'm telling you is by revelation knowledge. You might say, oh, Sister Kara, we're in the Bible. That's that when you want to get out of stuff, you say, we're in the Bible. But what you've got to understand that in the book of Daniel, it says that in the time of the end, knowledge shall go to and fro in the earth. So revelation, knowledge will come to pass. 
that um, backs up the book. What was I going to say? Something important. Lord, help me to remember. Help me to remember, Father God. All right, yes. <clears throat> I did a video, and I, I briefly mentioned it. I didn't mention it full, full, full. But in the video, I talked about the, the ancient, the ancient Hebrew Yashahelites. I'm talking about Moses and Abraham and, and all the patriots coming up, coming up through our ancestors. And just as all everybody in the world has an accent, every country has an accent, the Hebrew Yashahelite as a nation had an accent. And their accent was like Nelson Mandela, South Africa. Very deep stuff, brothers and sisters. The Lord showed me the accent with a it was almost a crossover between all the horrible the sort of thing but it was more leaning towards the it was more leaning towards south african accent uh, nelson not the voice of nelson mandela not, i'm not talking about oh because nelson mandela has a very unique voice i'm not talking about his voice i'm talking about the accent how they speak with the accent the Lord showed me this is how my people spoke. The ancient Hebrew, Yasha Helite, Shaka Zulu, and all those people. Powerful. So it started in Yashahel. It's gonna end in Yashahel. Hallelujah, South Africa. So I wanted to come. I know this is hard to take. I know. And, and, I, and I do understand certain people that's watching and thinking, oh, she's coming with a new theology. She's coming with a new theory and all of this and all of that. It's not new. It's Bible. You just need to ask the most star to show you the truth. Ahaya never lies. He never ever lies. The prophecies are true. The visions. Keep on telling you. The visions are true. Miss, great is the mystery of the Most High. Great is the mystery of a higher. You cannot put him in a box. You cannot put him in a box. So sometimes when you don't understand certain things, it's good to go and just seek, the, seek his face. And it's okay for you to say, Lord, you know what? I listened to Sister Karen today. Mm, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what she's saying about all this South Africa being Israel and now going up in the mountain and this and that. I'm not sure, Lord, what she's talking about. So you ask him. You ask him and say, Lord, help me to understand. Show me if this is truth. And when he begins to show it to you, you will understand. And everything that I tell you concerning the two witnesses and Yasha Helites up there in South Africa, South Africa mountain, waiting to go to the second exodus to, through Antarctica and all of that. Two witnesses at the same time comes on the scene because now we're taken because now the depletion of the gospel in terms of the, the manpower to bring out the word of most High is depleted because so many of us are taken. But, you know, but it's not the rapture. It is not Yesiah coming in the clouds of glory. Not yet. People have given us a fake false narrative. Because now everybody thinks that Israel has been regathered in 1948. Oh, that's a, has been regathered. That's a true regathering, 1948. It's not true. That's the Rothschild. That's the Windsor. That's the, um, the monarchy, the British monarchy. Working with the Babylon US government and Babylon, U.S., France, and all these Babylonian countries. You cannot say nothing bad. You cannot say nothing bad about the fake state. You get into trouble. Like you'll be cancelled. You look what happened to Nick Cannon. Look what happened to Nick Cannon. So, 
this is coming this is going to happen um the two witnesses will be here before yesiah comes he the two witnesses the two witnesses will come at the point when we're up there in the mountain in south africa the two witnesses will be in south africa preaching the gospel for those of you who did not make it into the wilderness you need to just hang in there until the Messiah comes into into the clouds of glory because he's coming back he will he's coming back for those of us in the wilderness and for the church who did not make it into the wilderness so your duty is not to take the mark of the beast we won't be here for the mark of the beast we were just about here when the Antichrist comes on the scene. Just about. When he comes on the scene, that's when we go. So when you see Barry come back as the Babylon US president, you know what time it is. You know this is serious time. This is Jacob's trouble. You have to get ready. Because we're leaving. We're going. exciting stuff i'm super super excited because i know that this is near my time on e but you that's why i used to be worried when you used to take my videos down because i've taken down about over since 2015 until now you e but you have taken down about maybe 13 15 videos between 10 to 15 videos and when i took my first video down i was absolutely mortified when i got the first warning i nearly died oh my lord i was like oh it really bothered me but now, no, it don't. It doesn't bother me. You know why? Because my time is short. The Lord told me. My ministry is, it's not going to be a long, long, long one. Because he's wrapping things up. And he's speeding things up. All right. Um, we don't have a time on this thing. But just know that these things are going to happen. It's going to come to pass. All right, so you have to be ready. Your heart has got to be prepared. But I wanted to come and do this powerful revelation video. All right, I'll leave my South African playlist. I even get a, uh, one of my videos, I think. Has it been taken down? South Africa? I think it has. Yeah, I think it has. I think one of my videos about South Africa has been taken down. <laughs> God almighty. If I'm not mistaken... It has a red, a red thingy, a red, a round red circle through it. I think that's a video when I talk about the you know what and going into the wilderness and this and that and what of you. But the devil is alive. They can't stop. They can't stop the second exodus. It's going to happen. It will happen. It will definitely happen. All right. Okay. So be bold be strong be courageous walk with a higher just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most star a higher who lives above the heavens a higher eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in yesiah's holy name amen amen let's say the benediction the benediction is oh no we're not ready to benediction yet hallelujah look at me <laughs> oh lord oh let's start over okay i said part of it but anyways and um, for those of you who, are not, who have not accepted Yesiah as Lord and Savior, um, please say the sinner's prayer after me. Some of those, some of them goes. All right, dear Yesiah, the, thank you, pardon. Oh, for our brothers and sisters, dear Yesiah the Christ, I know that you are the son of Ahia, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah have died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah. I thank you for dying for me and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection and that Ahaya has raised you from uh, the dead. I know with confidence that you are, that you are the son of Ahaya whom the world calls God. All right. Yesiah, king of glory, I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I have done wrong. I repent of my wicked ways. Ahaya, thank you for salvation. Thank you for your beautiful son, Messiah, and I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, believe in your heart. Welcome to the body of Messiah. We believe in Acts 2 verse 38. You've done the repenting part by saying the prayer. You need to go and get baptized. You need to find a man of the most high and ask him to baptize you fully submerged in water like a submarine. When you go down in water, spiritual transformation, you are 
are saying yes sire died on the cross you believe in that torment of sin when the man of the most star raised you out of the water you're raising to new life new being you're a new creature hallelujah beautiful stuff all right so let's say the benediction because i said the other part already all right jude chapter 1 verses 24 25 the bible reads not unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Messiah, our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen blessings amen